Mass Rock. Shout out to Mass Rock for joining us out the LFC 7 Ryan for joining us. What's up with you, baby? <sighs> last 15 last fifteen minutes right now while I'm talking to you while wearing this heavy pea coat. It actually is kind of... You know, one thing I like about these pea coats is they make you look classy if you wear the right jeans with them. Like, if you wear the right jeans, it really does look like I have a wedding ring on. I mean, I would like to think that if I did get a wedding ring, it would be somewhat of Obsidian. So, shout out to LFC, LF, LFC7 Ryan who said, what's going on? Yo, what's going on with you, man? How you doing today? What's up with you in your world tonight, man? Shout out to LFC Ryan, a.k.a. Ryan Reynolds, a.k.a. Ryan Dawson, a.k.a. Ryan Reckless, a.k.a. Ryan Ruthless, a.k.a. I'm giving you a lot of good rapper names. Like, if you take all the nicknames, shout out to Kieran. If you just take all the names I just gave you and you don't become a rapper, you've wasted a lot of my creativity right now. I just want to let you know that right now, Ryan. I just want to let you know that. Shout out to Kieran. Shout out to Kieran LF676. What's up with you? Shout out to Tyrone underscore ninety six. Shout out to all my niggas named Tyrone. These all the fe- these all the dudes who got four or five baby mamas and four extra side bitches. Man, do they know how to multitask? Let me do a round of applause for that nigga. Shout out to Tyrone ninety six underscore ninety six. What's up with you, family? But anyway, last forty five. He said, "What's up, Obama?" <laughs> What's up, Obama? You know what? I was just I was just listening. I was just listening to. Um, Barack Obama's last interview he had with Jimmy Kimmel and that other dude who always be roasting. Um, shout out to my man Drake's cousin. What's up with you, man? I was just listening to the last interview he had with that dude, and I'm gonna say this: I don't think we really realized how cool it was to have Obama. Like Obama, for all intents and purposes, Obama might have been Obama might have been one of the coolest presidents that we've had in this country. He might. I think he was a cool one of the cool. He definitely was the funniest. That nigga is funny as hell. Like Obama got some jokes for you, like. I like I'm I miss having a president who was just cool like, but then again I was thinking like maybe you never know like there's a whole other side of the country. Tyrone underscore ninety six said, "What do you think, Trump or Obama?" Bro, that's a rhetorical question. That's a very you know what? I'm gonna say this. LFC LFC seven Ryan said, "Hey dude, you still do Assassin's Creed, bro, bro." Bro, bro, shout out to Yasmin underscore four four four. Every girl I know named Yasmin has pretty toes and ugly underarms, but it's okay. Yasmin, how you doing? Um, I saw the new, I saw the new Assassin's Creed. I went in theaters and saw it right before I saw Fences two months ago. Great movie, nigga. I loved it. How did you feel about it? And to my man Tyrone, rhetorical question, bro. For real estate advice, obviously. For real estate advice, obviously, I'm not gonna ask Obama. Yasmin said, "Sing." You didn't just say sing. I'm not a Yasmin. I'm not a. I'm not a puppet. You can't just request me to sing and you not give me like sing what? Like what would you want me to sing to you, Yasmin? What would you want me to sing? Granted, I can't. Granted, that granted, I'm still working on learning how to sing. But you know, hey, I'll give you the best I can. I give you my struggle. My struggle bars right now. But for real estate advice, obviously, I'm not going to ask Obama. But if I had to, she said, sing that cheering. Girl, I can, girl, let me tell you, shout out to Lauren Tenenbaum. Lauren, I, I've, I've read met this girl before, Lauren Tenenbaum. She logged on my Periscope a long time ago and never came back. Lauren, how you doing, baby? Okay. I, I don't know any, I, I, I don't know any Ed Sheeran songs in my tone that I can sing. I'm thinking about people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just the drop of a hat. Me, I fall in love with you every single day. Mary Donna. That's the best of my struggle raps you're going to get right now. That's my struggle singing. I ain't going to lie. Loki, 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 if I could sing. I always be wondering that sometimes. Like, like me personally, when I talk to y'all all the time, I consider myself a pretty talented podcaster, Periscope. But that's my personal opinion. In my opinion, I'm pretty good at this. Sometimes I wonder, like, if I was a great, if I was a shout to North Soliel, what's up with you? I always wonder, like, if I was a really great singer, if I was a good singer as an Ed Sheeran, would I really be interested in only podcasting or periscoping? And I always wonder that sometimes because I do, lo- I do pre practicing songs to myself. Y'all can actually go on YouTube and, and, and Google them. I refer, I prefer that you don't because I don't want you looking at me in a different light than y'all are now, but. I don't know, I mean, it's just interesting. It's just interesting sometimes to think about that. I mean, cause this is kind of like the dream career. This is kind of like the dream career I wanted, like to work in this area. This is my dream career. But thank God I'm in this area because, you know, I was thinking about now, 
first off, to the people who are listening right now on my podcast, to people listening to my podcast, I want to ask you guys, what is your day job? And I want to go somewhere. I'm going somewhere with this. What is your day job? Like, what do you do to earn money right now? Like, when you're not listen, listening to my black ass, what are you doing every day to earn money? Absolute madman. Big love. Appreciate that, man. Shout out to my man, Tyrone. The absolute madman. What is your... All right, absolute madman, you have a job. That's a good thing. You have a job. That is to be expected of you, but you have a good thing. Drake's cousin is a male stripper. Okay, male stripper. Shout out to my main male stripper. Shout out to they have Magic Mike. Shout out to Enchanted Drake. <laughs> Tyrone. Tyrone is going 96. Why you hit up Drake and be like, yo, I want to hire you for a private party. <laughs> okay, now this is where I'm going with this. So, what I had told people was is, I want to say this. So, what I always tell people is, I do believe I, I'm one of those people who is a big proponent in that belief of finding your passion, finding that thing that finding your passion, finding your calling. And I've always wondered, like, tell them, tell them you Drake's cousin, they all want me. Tell me Drake's cousin, they all want me. That's <laughs> stupid. So we have one dude named Drake's cousin, aka Enchanted Drake, aka Enchanted Cuz, aka Dastardly Drake, this Droopy Drake. <laughs> dude, what if there was a dude? Okay, very, very, very awkward conversation. What if there was a dude who was a porno star, but he had a long dick? So they called him. His name was Drake, but they called him Droopy Drake because his dick drooped past his knee. Droopy Drake. <laughs> Sorry, there's thought there was a brain fart. Ignore that. But anyway, anyway, I say that to say this. The reason I was asking what your day job was is because I've always wondered, like, if we were in a society, if me and you, Drake, if me and you, Tyrone, if we were in a society that was 300 years out there, Adam, okay, if Adam, if Adam, too, if Adam, if Adam, Drake, and if Adam, Drake, and Tyrone were in a society 200 years ago that happened not to be racist, yo, by where you living is in Cali, my man, Cali, if we lived in a society that happened not to be racist and we all could get regular day jobs like everybody else. What do you think your job would be? Not, not I'm talking about what you would want. I'm talking about the day job that you're doing right now. Do you think they had a job for male strippers in, in the 1700s? Do you think they had a job for male strippers in the 1700s? That's something I was thinking about. Like, do you, I'm pretty sure they had brothels. Like, the concept of having a brothel, a female brothel, was an old one. Like, they've been having brothels since probably the beginning of time. But, of course, like, do you think you would have been a fish? But I think, but. I, Having a being a male stripper that that probably is a fairly new thing, like maybe in the last fifty to sixty years that that's been a thing. But I don't think it was a thing back then. So I wonder, like, would you if you were a male stripper back in the day, would you be able to make money? Well, you probably would make money because you'd be the only one doing it. And back then, you wouldn't have any competition because if you're doing the seventeen hundreds, that was before they discovered black dick. So you definitely be in high. You would definitely be in high demand back then. Uh. Like I always say, like I always said, like I've always said that even though I'm not a even though I'm not a religious person, even though I don't believe in all the religions and enchantments and fairy tales and stuff like that, and I'm not calling the Bible fairy tale and just a portion of it, I do I do wonder sometimes to think like if I was born back in the day, this is one lady who keeps walking by staring at me. No, 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 she didn't see me. There was this one. I always wonder if I was born back in those times. If I was born back in those times, I always say like because I like to podcast, I like to broadcast, I do stand up comedy. I like I like anything that's just live communication with people. So I've always said like if I was born in the seventeen hundreds, eighteen hundreds, more than likely I probably would be a preacher. More than likely I would probably be a pastor. I'd be like the I'd be like the eighteenth century Martin Luther King or the seventeenth century. Even though I don't really, even though I don't necessarily believe everything that's a hundred percent in the Bible. I feel like back then that probably would have been the only job field I could have went in. So that's probably what I've been. I'd have been a preacher. I've been a preacher. I've been a preacher over Great Samaritan Baptist Missionary Mount Zion, Rock of the Highest Honor of God, Jesus' shield before the Mother Mary, before the devil reigns on the cross of us. Pentecostal Church, in Vallejo, California. <laughs> for those of y'all who don't get that, for those of y'all who don't get that reference, black, black Afro, Afro American churches have this thing where their names. The name of an Afro American church would literally be the name of a Afro American church would be the name of a tax document. It'd be like four or five different names in the church. Like when I was growing up, I went to Saint Paul, Saint Paul's greatest, Saint Paul's greatest missionary Baptist church. I went to Great Samaritan, Son of Jerusalem. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm not making this name up. 
Great Samaritan, son of Jerusalem, Baptist Church in Oakland, in in South Oakland, California, and it was it was it was cold, man. How many religious people we got on here? My man Tyrone, my man Drake, my man Adam. Anybody else on here? Any people in the podcast? I'm gonna ask. Are you guys religious? Are you a religious person? Per, per, person? Are you? A religious person. Yeah. Hmm. Stinking here. Okay. Because I mean, like I was thinking, like I consider, I can, I, I do sometimes, I consider some aspects of spirituality and I do wonder if those things, like certain stories, certain people, certain parts of the Bible, I do wonder if those stories are actually fact, but they might be fiction. You know, you never know. You never know. You never know. That's why I always tell people, you never know. That... I think some like, cause I'm always open. I'm always open to new finds. I'm always open to new discoveries. I think what pisses my mom off is because she thinks I'm too open to listen to people's theories. Are you asking me if I'm religious? Oh yeah, sure. Anybody, are you religious? Are you religious? And it can be anything. Like me per se, I don't give. I don't give a hundred percent of my total faith to a specific religion. I don't give a hundred percent of my faith to a total religion except Reese's, but I do. I do, I do consider that there are such things as spirits. I do think there are such things as spirits. I do think that there are such things as malevolent, 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 malevolent manifestations in the world. And you know, I'm trying. Tyrone said, "I'm trying, bro. We are trying. We are trying. It's hard, man. You know them, them Ten Commandments. You know it's, it's ten of them." It's ten of them, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm Muslim. Oh, you're Muslim. I oh, am Muslim. Muslim. Sorry, you're Muslim. Cool. Shout out to my Muslims out there. Shout out to my Muslims. Shout out to my Muslims in the East Coast. Shout out to my Muslims in the West Coast. Shout out to my Muslims in West Africa, East Africa, Middle East, Morocco, Liberia, Tunisia, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Somali, Nigeria, um, any other place that has an I A at the end of the. Shoot, sure, what's up with y'all? I respect Muslims. When you say Muslim, are you um like Nation of Islam Muslim? Muslim? Like the Nation of Islam that follows Louis to Minister Louis to Farrakhan? Minister Louis Farrakhan? And shout out to Minister Louis Farrakhan. Once I get big enough in this podcast to where sponsors won't dump me for having you on here, I'm gonna bring you on here, my bro. Trust me, believe that. You gonna come on this podcast at one point. I don't know when it's gonna be, but you're gonna be on here one day. In the arena. There's a um when I say the nation of Islam, the nation of Islam, there's two nations. There's two. There are a lot of different subsets of Islam, but there's a certain set of Islam called the nation of Islam. When you go on the East Coast that mostly black people participate in. And those are the ones that like it's based in Philadelphia, it's based in Pennsylvania. That was the one that Malcolm X was a part of. And it's the one led by. Shout out to my man Drake for giving me the hearts. It's the one that's led by Minister Louis, Minister Louis Farrakhan. And shout out to my boy, Minister Louis Farrakhan. You know, like I said, great guy. You know, he used to be a Cal- you know he used to be a calypso singer. Like I swear to you, I'm not making this up. He actually used to be a calypso singer. Like he actually used to sing calypso music, and he actually sang it. He actually sung it pretty good. He used to be called the Charmer. If you have a Spotify, if you have a YouTube, look up the Charmer. That's Minister Louis Farrakhan. That was before he that was before he changed his life and gave it to Allah. And he had some good songs back in them days. And I jump in the ring, and I go and and I jump in the ring, and to take the chance. And um, he had one song. He said he said one song. Um, he has a song called "Ugly Woman," and in the song he's saying, in the song he was saying, he's singing the song. He said, "Man, from a realistic point of view, you should always marry a woman pretty uh, uglier than you. You should always marry a woman uglier than you." Wordsmith, what's up with you, baby? Welcome to the Periscope. How you doing? From a realistic point of view. You should always marry a woman uglier than you. Like it's the stupidest thing in the world. I, get, I think I get what he's saying, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think, I think you should always. Aim, I think you should always aim a little bit higher than you. That's just always my person. What is this? Shout, hey, shout out to shout out Zion. Zion, what's Zion? Wordsmith, what is this? What is this? Wordsmith, what is this? Wordsmith. We were having a discussion about how a, a Muslim preacher became 
went from a calypso singer to being a Muslim preacher. And now we're going to talk about you, Wordsmith, because apparently you're a rapper. Your name is Wordsmith. Since you're a Wordsmith, since you got bars like that, why don't you spit a few bars for me, Drake, Tyrone, and the other first, whoever, whoever else is the fourth person? I don't know who is. Head honcho king. Do you think ISIS is part of Muslim? Of is Muslim? No. I don't consider I don't consider I don't consider radical groups part of the overall mission of the religion. I don't believe that. I think ISIS. I think ISIS is a. I thought you said Drake was a calypso singer. Well, Drake technically Drake technically is a calypso singer now. I mean, he technically is a calypso singer now. I mean, if you think about it, with that song "Fake," uh, that one song "Controller," he technically is a calypso singer at this point. Now, whether he's a good calypso, no, he's a good one. He's a he's a high. He's a high. Sings. Control us, control. Us. I'm gonna see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying. And Loki, the funny thing about calypso music, and I always say this is with calypso music, you really will forget how good calypso music is. The only re, I really start, I really forgot how good calypso music was until Drake came out with that last album. Even though I wanted him to do some more rapping, even though I wanted Drake to get out there and spit those bars that I wanted him to do. I did forget how cool Calypso music is. Like most Calypso songs, it's hard to hate Calypso music. Who are you trying to? Who are you trying to sound like? Um, who am I trying to sound like? I don't know. I mean, they, yeah, man, am I trying to sound like somebody? When I was growing up, I, growing up, I always wanted to sound like Keith David, who was the voice of Goliath and Gargoyles. I've always wanted to sound like him, but you know, I can't. I can't get that. I can't get that. I can't get that breathy, sexy type of tone in my voice. One thousand years. How do you, y'all remember gargoyles? And Keith David would do the intro. One thousand years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. <laughs> Warriors by day, a stone by day. Warriors by day. That was a cool show, man. Shout out to gargoyles. When you were a newborn, was your voice so deep? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. My voice, my voice cracked. My voice cracked when I was around seventeen. I think you can imitate Morgan Freeman. Yeah, one yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Who said? So I'm curious. What are we talking about? We're just literally having BS. BS. Yeah, BS. You know what? One person came on here and told me I look like Morgan Freeman. I didn't know whether to get insulted or get excited. I was like, what? 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 Like. Like I'm, this is my theory. This is my theory about most people. This is going to sound. This is going to sound weird. This is going to sound weird. But I think most people. I think most people in the world. Most people in the world. We have people. Most people in the world have at least fifteen people that look like them. That's just my theory. You, me, Drake, Wordsmith, Tyrone, um, Kiwi. We all have. We all have at least four people who look like us that are absolutely beautiful, and four people who that look like us that are absolutely butt fucking ugly. And I've always said, like, your confidence will always swing judging by how much people say you look like the beautiful people versus how much you look like the ugly people. It just, it just, it just, it'll swing. Like, I remember, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, who was, I'm trying to remember, like, ugly one that used to piss me off was, well, he's not, he's not really ugly. He's not really ugly, but I just didn't like the reference. When that black kid, when that black kid, <laughs> when that black kid first came out on Star Wars, the, um, the black stormtrooper kid, but like the, like my friends used to do this thing. My friends did this thing where like they took a meme of his face and put my face beside it and said, "Bro, bro, would you get on Star Wars, bro?" He when well, they could put it on Facebook and he said, "Bro, my nigga on Star Wars, John Boyega, that's his name." That was a, that was a bad example, and I got and I kind of got irritated. I was like, nigga, I don't look like that. I got irritated. I don't look like that nigga. I don't look like that nigga. He's not. He's not. He's not ugly, but I just didn't like the reference though. But he's not ugly. No, he, he's not ugly, but I just didn't like the reference. Now, a good looking reference was is. It's like people used to say sometimes a little like Morris Chestnut. Me personally, I don't think so. But anytime I've heard it, I've heard it a couple of times. Every time I hear that, I'm like, yeah, nigga, this is a good day. I should cut my, I should cut my hair more often now. But it just, it just, it just depends. So I say that to say this: we all got that one person. Like, if, like for example, Drake Curse. You've heard it. You've heard at least once that you look like Nick Cannon. You've heard it at least once. Somebody at least once has told you you look like Nick Cannon. Am I right? Am I right, Drake? Let me know. At Wordsmith, oh, I can't see your avatar. And at Tyrone, all I see is muscles. I can't see your avatar. But the 
They have been, but, it, but that's a positive one. But if somebody had told you, look, uh, now you come back. God dang it, Drake. I just talked about you. I didn't even know you were left yet. Like 10 times. Like 10 times. Okay. Like 10 times. Thank you. Thank you to prove my theory. Okay. You've heard at least one. You've heard at least 10 times you look like Nick Cannon. Now, nah, yeah, uh, well, it could be said that. But if you had heard somebody say you look like currency, because from a certain angle, you do kind of look like currency, you probably would be pretty pissed off. Am I right? And for those of y'all who don't know who currency is, then let's keep it that way. I don't think we should bring up currency. I don't think we should add any relevancy to currency. Let's let let's keep let's keep let's keep currency at, at his at his current level of relevancy. Who's currency? Hey, baby, listen, baby, baby, listen, baby, listen. We don't need to talk about him. Let's leave him. Let's leave him there. Let's leave him there. We don't need to bring him back up. Just leave him there. Let him die. Let him die. This is the last conversation anybody's going to have about currency until you bring it up. No, don't. Bro, wordsmith, don't open up Google. Let him die. Let him die. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him listen. Listen. Let him rest. Let him. Let him rest. Let him go. It's not that serious. Let it go. Niggas don't be understanding. Some celebrity, some bullshit you just gotta let die. Like, and I even calling him bullshit, but I'm calling his music. <sighs> sorry, sorry. It's hard headed little light skin girl. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is why I don't even. This is, I'm gonna tell you right now. This is why. I don't, this is why I don't even date girl. This is why I don't even date girls with armpits. That's why I don't even date girls with armpits. Look at this crazy. But anyway, so I say that to say there are there are some there are some like. I always say, I always say there are there are some celebrities who I was kind of growing up. I was kind of happy to see fall off, like not happy to see fall off, but I just really didn't care. like. I really was like, okay, we can let him go. Like DJ Unk, like DJ Unk, I was kind of what Wordsmith said. Wait, what? She just now caught what I said about the uh, armpits. But anyway, <laughs> I was like, like DJ Unk. I wasn't I wasn't upset when DJ Unk fell off. And for those of y'all who aren't familiar with DJ Unk, he was a dude who did the walk it out thing. I wasn't upset when DJ Unk fell off. I wasn't upset when I was kind of I was kind of upset when NSYNC broke apart. <laughs> Wordsmith says, but everyone has armpits. How do you know that though? Have you checked anybody else's armpits? Have you checked everyone else's armpits? How do you know everyone has armpits? Have you checked everybody else's armpits? No, no shit. Of course we do. How do you know that? But how do you know that? Have you have you actually checked and looked somebody else looked in somebody's armpit and say we all have armpits? Have you actually already checked that and really really took time to make sure if that was true or not? Because you never know. You never know. You never. So you hold up. So you really you really took the time to walk to another human being prior to this conversation and say hold up. Hey girl, you got armpits too. Yeah, you got armpits. Okay, I know. Because, yeah, because in about a year or so, I'm about to log on to this Periscope app where they haven't created yet. And I'm going to see a random black dude talking named JT and follow him on Periscope. And he's going to have a conversation roasting me about how he don't date girls with armpits. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to like that. He's just leaving me open with that. But I say, I say all that. I say all that to say this. Some rappers we can forget. You know, some rappers we can forget. Like, I think, like, 40 years into the future, I think 40 years into the future, singers, rappers included, I think the people we definitely going to, the people we definitely going to be talking about, I think, is the Ed Sheeran's. Can I have your attention, please? Yes, the library will be closing in 30 minutes. If you need a library card or have items to check out, please do so now. Any laptops checked out should be returned at this time. Oh, yeah, I'm in the library. Girls in the li- girls in the library. You can you did a good job, bro. He's walking past the window right now. I was like, you did a good job, bro. You did a good job. You did it. Hey, no lie, no lie. Um when I was walking to the library to record this podcast, I was listening to that song reading the theme song for Reading Rainbow. How am I scoping in the library of all places? Because I got the juice like that, girl. I got the juice like that. You ain't know I had the juice like that. But in all seriousness, it's because see, in this library, they have its own. This library has its own individual room. So like, I can go around here and just scope in here. Like behind me, it's a group of badass little kids who will be trying to uh, mess with me and stuff like that. Put their hand on the window. One little girl tried to offer me my num- offer me her number, and I was like, I just got done talking about statutory rape two days ago. I can't even pretend like that's interesting to me. So it's a cool place. It's a cool place to record and have a good time, man. You know, I enjoy it, man. 
I mean, my goal is to get to a point where I get the Periscope and the podcast audience up. How old was a girl? Listen, let me tell you something. It's some girls that you can look at and just tell they're too young for you. It's just natural. It's just natural. It's, you can just tell. If a girl, if a girl, if a girl's head, I'm six one. If a girl's head go below my chest, how old are you? I'm 25. If a girl's head is, if a girl's head is below my chest, off the top, I feel like, I feel like she's a kid. Now, if she just happens to be that short, then that's, then even then that's even more of a turn off. But then, yeah, you never know though. You never, but then you never know. I mean, hey, you know, hell, it's these old people. All these old people on school. Why are you hating? I ain't old yet. I ain't old. It's out to California kissing, baby. How you doing? These old people. How old are you then? Wordsmith. Tell me. Tell me, Wordsmith. How old are you? But yeah, I you know. I know. We were just talking. It's funny because we were talking about the whole. Hey, well, hey, she gave me the little heart. How you doing, baby? Shout out to 18. 18? Bitch, you about to die. You ain't gonna tell me, oh, you 18, you about to die. You know, let me tell you something. Because I'm gonna tell you, what, I'm gonna tell you what women don't understand about, about the difference between men and women. I'm 20. Let me tell you this right now. I'm 18 too, lol. Okay, let me tell you this right now. The age system, the age system for men is a little bit different, women. Shout out to that Global Giant right now. California Kissing. Okay, no, but you know what, California Kissing, you my boo, so you ain't never, California Kissing is my boo, so she ain't never aging. She always gonna be that pretty young flower that met me at Starbucks two months ago. She always gonna be that in my heart. She always gonna be that. I be shooting my shots from here. They be falling so hard sometimes. <laughs> I just be shooting a shot. I just be shooting a shot. And it's just, it missed the, it just missed the target like this. Like this all the way off. This all the way off sometimes. But, but yeah, California Kissing, how you doing? Drake, everybody, how you doing? You know what's funny was this episode, this episode was actually supposed to be about me going to the movies and movies that were coming out in March to go see. But, you know, thanks to some people, wordsmith, this went a totally different direction. About to make dinner and eat homework. About to make dinner and eat homework. What type of homework you talking about? What type of homework you talking about eating? What type of homework you talking about eating? Mm. Oops. You know what? Do you know how to cook? So what you cooking? What are you cooking right now? Shout out to enjoy underscore life for you. Sorry, I'm tired. Hey, it's okay. I'm tired too. I'm about to go home. When I go home tonight, I'm really gonna make the I'm gonna make the best bean and avocado tacos. Drake's car said I'm want to watch Kong's get Kong's kill Kong Skull Island. I'm gonna go see that. I'm gonna go see that. Bro, I'm gonna spend at least a hundred dollars in the theaters. I'm making salmon, rice, and roasted vegetables. Woo! Wordsmith said, "LMA, it's too late for this. It's like one a.m. here." Or uh, Wordsmith, where are you at, well, baby? Where are you? Where are you at right now? Where Where, where are you at? That is one a.m. Got to go for now. California kissing. Love you, baby. Make sure you tune. You can't. Why are all these people coming from the UK? I love. The, first off, I love the fact that y'all coming. You know what? I'm gonna do a podcast because I'm recording a podcast right now. I'm gonna do a podcast show in the UK because I, I I love the fact that there actually is a couple of people from the UK coming in. I like that. Shout out to all my bloody folks. Shout out to all my bloody folks in London. Eight thirty six in Philly. You already know. I already know Philly. Philly. I know. I know the time. I know the time in Philly. I might. I'm gonna pass by Philly. You know what? So. Peace, peace, LOL, LOL, she's stupid. But in all seriousness, in all seriousness, like, my, that accent, the accent, oh, girl, I'm good at accents. Let me tell you this. Matter of fact, since, you know, since we have some good times, since I ain't got to go, <clears throat> since I ain't got to go for a while, throw me an accent, throw me an accent, throw me a person and tell me to do it right now. Just because I'm, just because I'm actually in a good mood right now. Throw me an accent and dare me to try to do it. Promise you I'll kill it. But, Indian. Hmm. Hmm, Indian. Well, you, you take the money and five dollars. Hello, you are speaking with tech support. You are speaking with tech support. Hello, you are talking. You are talking with tech support. My name is Galush Kalash. Yes, sir, sir. No, 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 no. Hold on. May I put you on hold? May I put you on hold? Okay, Indian. That was like a from a one to ten. That was like a six point five. Yes, that was like a six point five. Okay, let me try something else. Okay, throw me another accent. Namaste. Nam. Two point three. What do you mean? God forbid. Six point five. That's a six point five from the three. That's a six point five. Give me that. It's hard. It's good. Indian accent hard. Your tech support. You're talking now with Kalush Kalush. Yes, Dick. 
Bottom collapse. Okay. Give me another one. Give me another one. Okay. Birmingham. Birmingham, Alabama, Birmingham, United Kingdom. Oh, Birmingham's easy. I can Birmingham down. I can get Birmingham, Alabama down easily. I'll give a goddamn vote. Fear, goddamn vote. Oh, oh, Birmingham, UK. I don't know how people from Birmingham, UK talk. I just know the general UK accent. Australian. Australian. Crikey. Crikey, mate. Crikey. The accent is a joke of London. Hold on, hold on. Let me think. What was that? What was that one I used to do when I was a kid? Let me see if I can still do it. I think it's something in this area where I'm trying to get to. Yes. The Chart Council sends only one horseman, even into the past. No, this visit is unsanctioned. In fact, no one. Knows you're here. Ah, don't hit on my accent skills, bro. I'm almost there. Take the L. I ain't taking the L. There's no L. I did four accents. I got four accents wrong. You didn't even give me 10. Like, you're like four on everything. I had a 6.5 on the Indian. Don't hit on my accents. Don't don't hit on my accents. I had like a, I had like a four. You know what, damn? I had a four. Hold this real quick. Oh, this real good. I had like a four. I had a four major. It was not a major L. It was not a major. L. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, 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 okay. With that being well, with that being said, with that being said, uh, that being said, as you can obviously tell, to those who aren't who, the, to those who aren't haters like Drake and I don't know how to do a Philly accent. I know I know slang that people from Philly say like John and stuff like that, but I can't do a Philly accent. It's like. It's kind of because like my brother's from he does like he, he says like my brother's from Harrisburg and I know he says like John and Danger like when, when he said when he talks about a pistol he says the Dinger LMA watch him just shout out Carlton Carlton Carlton's not from Philly Wilson Carlton word what you know you don't even know you don't even know where the characters are from you trying to bring your UK culture and say we Carlton's from Carlton's from California you don't even know you don't even you don't even know. You don't, even, you don't even know, Wordsmith. You don't even know. Dinger. Dinger. He says Dinger. I used to be down. I used to be down. Now I'm penetrating. He had a song he said. By screaming. You're going to sound like Will by screaming Carlton. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he. I sound like Will. I sound like Will Natural. But shout out to Will Smith. I love Will Smith. Like, I honestly feel at least a half of my, I honestly feel at least 25% of my personality came from watching Will Smith on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like, I love, I loved Will Smith growing up. Like, Will Smith, Will Smith literally, Will Smith literally, Will Smith literally is one of my idols. I love Will Smith. Shout out to Felipe Valesco. Seja muito bem-vindo, cara. Você do Brasil. Tem, 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 tem brasileira tá aqui, mano. Everyone loves Will Smith. Everyone loved Will Smith, man. He just was like, just, he's perfect. Not everyone loved. Everyone loves. So people from England, they don't. Jade Smith, though. Hmm. I haven't read his tweets yet. I loved him in Karate Kid. Everybody was hating on how he did in Karate Kid. I loved him in Karate Kid. Felipe Velasco. Como vai, pessoa? LMAO, Jaden. Will Smith, follow me. Love Jaden. Jaden said he was good in Karate Kid. I think he. I don't think he did good in After Earth. After Earth was literally. After Earth might have been one of the most worst movies I'd ever seen in my life. But besides that, besides that, hi from Mexico. Oh, tú eres de México. ¿Cómo vas, güey? ¿Cómo vas, mi güey? Está muy placer contar de conocerte. I jump in that ring. I did take the chance. I jump in that ring. I did take the chance. Okay. Bien, we. <laughs> bien, we. Yeah, bien, we. Tu a cual ciudad de, de México tu está viviendo? He, he tries to be fox deep and edgy. I don't think he's trying that. I think that really is how he is. I think, like, a low key in my. I really think that's really how Jaden Smith is. There's some people you can look at and tell they're faking. I really do feel that he's really like that. Like, I really do feel like he just gets up in the morning and doesn't even wash his dreadlocks. Like, he really is just like that. But, you know, it's not, it's nothing, it's nothing bad. It's not, I mean, that, that's his personality. Like, that's just his. That's what he cares about. You know, <laughs> like, you know, he has that live, that live stream going on right now where it says he will not separate us. It's like him speaking out against Donald Trump and he says, 
I don't even know how to unplug my thing. Oh, well. It's Sean underscore not me. Then who is it? But he has that thing where he's speaking out against us and he's like, I'm, I'm talking in the microphone. The microphone even plugged up to the phone. All right, people, what up? What up? Hold up. People on the pod. People on the podcast right now. Got to get in the podcast. Shout out to y'all right now. Love y'all. Peace. If on the Periscope, but yeah.